Hey guys, I hope that you have enjoyed the week. I hope that it hasn't been too stressful on you, <laughs> but that you seriously and honestly have enjoyed learning to about yourself. Really, it's just another element of getting to know yourself through this process. And it's okay, it's okay if you felt lost up until now, okay? But what I want you to do today, we're gonna to call it Uniform It. What do I mean by that? Is what I want you to do, you've heard us talk about your hair and makeup and your uh, clothes this week, but what I want you to do is figure out a way to uniform it. One of the simplest, easiest ways to move through life is like being a school, school child and going to school, you wear a uniform every day, it just simplifies everything. So through the process yesterday, I hope that you can start to figure out what suits you and what doesn't. I hope. And if not, call on the reinforcements like I tell you to. <laughs> and what you then do is you start to build a wardrobe on clothes that you know, you know, you know, you know, without a shadow of a doubt that it suits you and it looks good on you. Okay? And so then you've got this uniform and you can have fun with it still. Okay, so I might say, um, uniform it but I'm still saying have fun with it by all means you know generally I would wear black and white that's just generally where I I, I don't know I just gravitate towards those colors but then usually I would put it a you know a bright yellow jacket with it or a pair of bright orange shoes or whatever it might be you know you still have fun with the with the uniform but it just makes life easier for you and makes you feel more comfortable knowing that you're gonna go to your wardrobe and bang bang you know exactly where how to pair it because it's there and it's simple and it's easy Okay, so what I want to talk to you today is about don't recreate the wheel. Okay, so don't put yourself under this huge amount of stress and strain. The easiest way in order to uniform it is to actually follow a style icon. Unless you're a fashion designer yourself or a stylist, I would actually say this is the way to go. Don't recreate the wheel and try and figure out this whole new, <laughs> what am I going to wear and you know, how does it suit me? Find someone who's within your age, who you like their style and copy them. <laughs> Seriously, it's just the it's the easiest way to do it these days, and there's just so many photos available. Obviously, if they're a celebrity, the easier it is to get photos of them in order to follow through. It could be someone in your world that you know, and you can see that, like, yeah, the way that they wear their clothes would really suit me, and so I'm going to uniform it off them. So what I've done is I've just attached. Uh, you'll be able to see just some suggestions. It's nothing uh, concrete by any means. It's just some suggestions for you to see. Uh, I have to say I was surprised when I actually stopped and went through to find out some of these celebrities or style icons that I consider to be you know, absolutely beautiful in how they dress and they're all so different. Uh, their ages, like oh, it's really impressive. Like, okay, so in your 30s, we've got your Lara Bingle, who's 29, but she'll be 30 soon. I'm just, she's got this classic thing that I think 30 year olds can just pull off so beautifully. Uh, of course, Kate Middleton is 34. Um, uh, Deepak Chopra's daughter is on there and she's just got this Larry kind of funness to her. It's just beautiful. She's only 34. Natalie Portman is 35. Kim Kardashian's 35. Uh, Emile Cloney uh, has amazing style and she's 38. You know, the, the good thing about 30s is that you can have a lot of fun. You know, you're still, your skin is still very young, hopefully, especially if you're looking after it. <laughs> uh, the biggest thing I would find for people in their 30s is a lot of the times that you're probably having your babies in your 30s, like obviously I'm massively generalizing things here, but you want to take that I need to be flexible and you, you want to err on the side of wearing your tracksuit all the time because you're cleaning up whatever kind of rubbish from your kids and constantly cleaning the house, constantly cooking, constantly doing all this, and you've got to figure out how to dress it up a bit more. Okay, because it's really easy for you to get really slack and to do what I'm doing and just throw your hair up in a bun. <laughs> Uh, not wear any makeup and go out in your tracky dacks and be like, you know, stuff everyone. Do you know what I'm doing? Do you know what I'm putting up with? So you don't want to do that. We want to step you off a bit more. You need to actually have a really nice um, coat or blazer that you can pair it with a pair of uh, jeans and a bit of heel to your boots or your shoes, whatever it might be. I've got some beautiful um, stuff written below, some ideas of how you can actually jazz up your wardrobe. In your 40s, oh my gosh, 40s are the new 30s by all means. Women are actually doing a really successful job at staying young. And I know you might look at some of these pictures that I've put up and go, oh well, they've had facelifts, so that's not fair. They might have, but I'm asking you to look at their clothes, okay? I want, to, I want you to see how they've looked after themselves. And yes, they might have had money to spend on people and trainers and whatever, but look at how they've cared for themselves and they style themselves 
and just see the, the personality come through in it all. We've got uh, Victoria Beckham, who's a fashion designer herself, but great taste. Uh, we've got the Queen Letizia of Spain, who's just, yeah, just magnificent in what she wears. Jada Pinkett Smith, who's very Larry and out there. Sofia Coppola, very classic um, Audrey Hepburn kind of look to her. Um, Kate Blanchett and Tamara Mellon, who is the founder of Jimmy Choo Shoes, which is, she's got this, she usually wears a lot of black and it's very slimming, but then these Larry Jimmy Choo Shoes, which is just awesome. Again, you gotta look at enhancing your figure in your 40s. Don't think I'm um, over the hill and you know, everything, you put on a bit of weight, so therefore you gotta cover up. Do not cover up, okay? <laughs> never, ever, ever wear baggy on baggy, never. There is something about you that needs to shine and you need to show your figure. It is beautiful, it is sexy. Your spouse will thank you. Your friends will be like, oh wow, you're really comfortable and confident and know who you are and that's awesome. So don't. Okay, if you're feeling like you're overweight and that you're feeling fat, there are other ways around it. I've got a oversized shirt on with a pair of um, tight jeans, skinny jeans on. You know, it covers everything that <laughs> I need it to cover. Not because I need it to cover, but because I wanted to be comfortable today and that's what I ended up wearing. It's all good. You just got to figure out, don't put yourself in a tent because you feel like you're a tent. Okay, we've got to work against that. 50s, oh my goodness, see these women in their 50s. Robin Wright, Michelle Obama, Elle McPherson, seriously. Julianne Moore, I think has aged beautifully. Annette um, Benning, Iman, just, she's 61, are you serious? Wow, these people are amazing. You know, you can't wear what you wore in your 20s, your teens and stuff like that, but you just probably transition to more of a classic style. You look for quality of clothes, you look for a real, um, it's all about the material, okay? Don't buy old lady shaped clothes just because you're in your 50s. You look for quality of clothes. You know what, there actually is some even at places like Kmart, like they're really bringing out these, these um, pants and these tops that have got a bit more thickness to them that you can wear that you're not feeling so self-conscious about you know don't wear polyester that's just it's just wrong on any age but you know or spandex and all that stuff but in your 50s it's not about covering up either it's 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 about finding what's right the quality of material for you so you might not have as big a wardrobe or variety as what you had in your 30s but you've got beautiful items and items that you can mix and match and piece up together and Maybe, that, maybe you choose to go for a neutral wardrobe, really neutral, and how you vary it is through your accessories. There's beautiful and cheap accessories these days, like never before, they weren't around when I was little. Um, yeah, that you can actually play with. Or maybe you want to keep your clothes neutral because you want to focus more on the hair and makeup because that's what you feel confident in, that's fine. But find your place, find your, your position there. 60 plus, okay, look at these amazing women. Um, Anna Winter. Jessica Lane, Diane Keating, I love Diane Keating. She's got such a quirky dress style. She cracks me up, but she's just, I just think she looks amazing. I really love watching her. Helen Mirren, uh, Jane Fonda, a lot of facelifts, but she's 78. She's 78 and I love, there's a picture of her there and she's got this chunky necklace on and it's just fantastic. And you'll find that Jane Fonda generally will stick to like a white collared shirt with her um, neutral styled trousers and stuff like that and she's just, it actually is really classic, but then she's got this funky kind of jewelry that she always wears that just matches her Larry personality, which I absolutely love. And of course, we've got a beautiful uh, Iris there at 94. And she's such a crack up. And I love it because we're supposed to have fun with this. We're supposed to enjoy um, getting dressed in the morning. It's not just for our kids. My, my girls get up and they're like, mom, let me pick, you know, which clothes to wear today. And it's so beautiful. I'm like, why am I not like that? You should be like that. I'm now like that. And it's fun to get dressed. It's fun because it, you've got it together now. So uniform it, figure out your uniform and have fun with that uniform every day.